Hey everyone, this is Angela Van Lerup here in Bozeman, Montana. Just wanted to reach out to you because in the news this week, there's been a lot of coverage of this very substantial and uh, impactful class action lawsuit in Missouri. Uh, 500,000 Missouri home sellers from the, the years 2015 to 2022 brought a lawsuit against the National Association of Realtors, or NAR, as we like to say, and several big name uh, brokerages uh, that operate in the state. And basically these home sellers said that they felt that NAR and these brokerages uh, acted in a conspiracy or colluded with one another and took more real estate fees than they should have had to pay as sellers. And what really comes up in this conversation is the, the concept of what we like to call clear cooperation in real estate. And so, as a realtor, we are obligated, we are required to uh, cooperate with other realtors to show homes, to market homes, to bring a home to market and uh, bring buyers and sellers together in an ethical way and make sure that a transaction is smooth and all parties have good rep representation. And at the end of the day, the sale goes through and everyone um, is everything is above board and, and it goes well. Right. So that's that's my job. And that's the job of all the realtors is that we're to work together to cooperate through a transaction to make sure that everything go, goes through just perfectly well. Right. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's easy. We've all had experiences of both sides of the deal. But with two realtors involved, it should all be um, above board and both buyers and sellers are taken care of, right? Well, the way this works out is that when a listing agent comes uh, to a seller and says, hey, I'm gonna sell your house for you, it's gonna be awesome, I'm gonna work my butt off and I'm gonna market your home, put, some, put my money behind it, I'm gonna make it happen for you. Um, and then when it comes down to it, the listing agent and that seller negotiates a commission for the listing agent or the listing broker, I should say. Well, a lot of times you'll hear numbers thrown around. It's very common to hear someone say, well, I'll list your home for 6% or maybe a little bit less. Maybe maybe it's a repeat client or something. They'll give you, a, you know, you'll, you'll get a little bit less than that. But whatever the case that listing commission, that, that brokerage commission is fully negotiable between the seller and the listing agent um, at, the, at the time that the listing agreement is signed. That's, that's the listing agent's job is to work that through with the seller to an agreeable, everyone is satisfied, right? Well, what ends up happening after that with clear cooperation is that the listing agent will usually say, not always, but usually say, hey, my commission, let's say it was five and a half or six percent, that commission that I get, I am going to split that and I'm going to give a portion of that to a cooperating buyer's agent so that the listing agent at that point can solely focus on the seller, the home that needs to be marketed and make sure that everything is taken care of for their client. And then a buyer's agent can come along and bring a buyer, a buyer that's pre-qualified, a buyer that, um, you know, is able and willing and able to buy a home. And then they can negotiate on behalf of the buyer and the buyer has their their own representation. So they, their needs and their, um, their finances are also being taken care of, right? And so the Missouri um, plaintiffs were saying, well, we shouldn't have had to pay for the buyer's agent we should have just paid for our services that came to us and the buyers should pay for their own or not pay for their own. Maybe they don't even need an agent. Maybe they could just use our agent to the, do the deal. Well, you can see how that would uh, very possibly bring up more litigation, a lot more problems because those buyers don't, one, they're paying prices for homes that are historically high, two, at that point, they don't have a representative to negotiate on their behalf that knows the industry in and out. And then three, they've got these, you know, rising, fluctuating up and down interest rates that are very volatile. And so to say, listen, come and buy my house, but you have to not only cough up money for my home and the interest rate, but you also be able to put, you have to pay for a, a realtor to do the work for you. Well, a lot of buyers are just going to say, well, I can't even afford it, so I'm not even going to bother coming to, to try and buy your house. Or 
if they do come, then they're just going to lean on the listing agent to write up the offer for them, but then not have really any true representation on their behalf. So it opens up a huge can of worms, really. So as a realtor, you can see why uh, the National Association of Realtors would, would like to keep the clear cooperation policy in play. And, and in and of itself, it doesn't require that the listing agent pay a commission, but it just requires that a listing a agent cooperate with the buyer's agent and, and buyers. And so I think what we're going to have to be looking for is a way for buyers to have representation um, in a truly challenging market still that we're in. And is that going to come through the seller? Is that going to come through them writing in uh, a commission into their loan agreement? I don't know how many mortgage lenders are going to be okay with that because generally they only want to they only want to lend on the value of the home, right? So um, it brings up a lot of questions, and we'll see how it turns out. I know that NAR is uh, appealing this. Um, they feel like the the jury and the judge um, that it was it wasn't the right decision, so they are appealing right away. Um, it could take a, several years. It could take a long time to see how this really impacts us, but it's something to keep in mind. And, um, you know, as someone who truly enjoys working with buyers, I love working with buyers. Um, I do, obviously, I love working with sellers as well, but um, I love the hunt. I love the challenge. I love um, I love a, a lot of the whole buyer's side of the deal. Um, so I'm eager to see uh, what this looks like in the in the weeks and months and years to come. Okay, there you go. That's probably more than you needed to know, but have a great Friday, and I hope to chat about real estate again soon.